Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and welcome to another video lesson at Season Cook. Today, we're going to do a roast leg of lamb, what I call a natural. And the ingredients that we're going to use for this, now, this is the lamb rump, which is the top of the leg, which is the, the best part. It doesn't have any of the tough uh, shank meat, etc., on it, okay? Uh, so we have a rump, we have some garlic, we have some white wine, we have some fresh rosemary, we have some dried basil and oregano, and some dried leaf thyme, and we have a little bit of demi brown sauce, and some olive oil, and salt and pepper. So let's start by getting this tied up first, except we're going to want to season the inside before we tie it up. So let's put a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic on the inside of this baby before we tie it up. So, butcher's twine. Let's make sure we got enough. We can always cut some off. I'm going to show you my simple way of tying up this roast. We're going to begin by putting a nice slip knot in there. I mean a, a triple, a double, a double folded knot that will hold for us. Okay, now instead of going through the process of individually tying it up, I'm going to wrap this up with the string. like so. So I'm showing you what I consider to be the easy way of tying this roast up. And then when you get near the end, which is where we are, just tie that together. yourself done deal if I can ever get it tied okay there we go so now I want to season the outside of this roast I want to get some olive oil on it because I want the stuff that I'm putting on it to stick to it starting with salt fresh pepper A little bit of dried thyme or fresh thyme. Let's get a little bit of these dried herbs on here. You can get as generous as you want with these herbs and you can literally have yourself a herb encrusted roast leg of lamb. If you needed a reference point for what to call it, you could put as much of that on there as you want. Now I got some fresh rosemary I just picked out of the backyard today. We're going to use that. This is a very traditional, classic way of doing roast leg of lamb with rosemary. Now, could I chop this rosemary up? I could, and I'm going to cut it up just a touch. Okay, so we'll chop this a little bit. And let's put some of the rosemary on there. So now we've got oregano, basil, rosemary, thyme, and salt and pepper on here. And now, and again, I could put more of this on there, just put some more oil and pack it on if I wanted to. Let's get some garlic all over this bad boy. And now, I'm 
going to do is I'm going to take this pan of sautéed mirepoix that I've got here that I just lightly, lightly cooked and we're going to dump it right on that pan. So we're going to put this lamb on a roasting rack right over this mirepoix. Let's get whatever's in there out of there with a little bit of that dry white wine. I think in total we're going to end up with maybe one and a half to two cups of wine on that by the time it's all said and done because we're going to make the sauce out of this mixture here after it's done roasting. Now we'll put a rack on it. Put this on there like so. Now think of this like a prime rib. You want to roast this slowly so that I'm assuming we're our target here is medium rare to medium and we want it to be medium rare to medium all the way throughout the lamb leg. So in order to do that you have to cook it slowly otherwise if you cook it too fast you'll end up with a circle of rare in the middle and then a medium rare and then a medium and then a medium well because you hit it too hard. So I'm going to put this in a uh, 300 degree oven And that's going to be in there for an hour and a half, hour and a half, 45 minutes, two hours, two and a half hours. I'll let you know and I'll test it and uh, I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, this lamb roasted slowly for about two hours and 40 minutes at 300, three and a quarter, which I would never recommend that you roast this at 400 degrees. It's way too fast, okay? So... One of the ways that I know when it's done or not done is based on how soft this meat is. When it's really, really soft, it's still rare. And this is something that you have to experiment with over time. The other way, but only when it's done or pretty close to being done, is you can put a knife right directly into the middle of the lamb and then take the tip of that knife and put it on your lip. If it's warm, it's medium rare. If it's hot, it's medium or medium well. And if it's cool, of course, it's rare. So we're going to start by, I let, I let this relax for about 20 minutes. So let's start by getting this beautiful looking mirepoix, which is all now tender enough to eat. And this stuff looks really, really good. Let's get this on a platter that we're ultimately going to serve the lamb on for you. As long as I have all of the ingredients that I have here, which is the mirepoix, and I have some rice pilaf here that I just made. And so I'll just show you a simple family style version of how to do this. Get rid of some of these excess bay leaves that I had on the mirepoix when I was lightly sauteing them. So now let's take this juice, which is that combination of that white wine and all the drippings from this. Let's put this in a saucepan. And there isn't much else to get out of this because there's very little browning in this pan. And what I'm saying is this pan really doesn't need to be, quote, deglazed. There's nothing to deglaze from it. And now I'm going to put a little splash of Demi, brown juice, if you have canned brown beef stock, whatever. I'm going to put that in there because the sauce is just going to be a little bit of brown juice and the white wine and drippings. Let's bring that up to a simmer. So when I told you we were making a natural, that's what I was referring to in conjunction with serving the mirepoix, which we roasted it with, okay? So now... Let's get the string off of this lamb leg and let's get it sliced up. Now the great thing about this particular part of the lamb leg, which is that top rump, or, or, you, or what I would call also the top butt, which is the rump butt, uh, is that this is really, it doesn't have to be sliced thin. So we're gonna, we're gonna slice this leg up right now. Now you can slice this leg this thin, like that. Now that's a nice medium rare to medium. I like the way that looks. 
or you can slice this into steaks like this because this particular cut off of the leg is conducive to being eaten with a fork and knife if they're sliced thick. So it doesn't have to be sliced really, really thin. And I think just to expedite this process, I'm going to cut these a little bit thicker like that last one I just showed you. And I think we probably have enough there. This is a nice looking lamb. Very nice. Well, I might as well just cut it all. Let me look in on that juice real quick. Yep, it's come to a simmer. So let's take this rice pilaf that I just got through making a few minutes ago. It's still warm. Let's lay that along the other side of this platter. And let's pick up all of this lamb and lay it right in the middle of this platter. This looks like the kind of meal that I want to sit down to. I can tell you that right now. Let's get this here front and center real quick. Oh, yeah. Now, finishing this juice. It came to a boil, which is all it has to do. And it's ready for this right now, but I, as hot as it is, I got to taste it a little bit. Oh, this is good. This is so perfect the way it is. This is what I call the ultimate on natural. Now, this is an option, but I'm going to exercise it, and I'm going to throw maybe an ounce of butter into that just for fun and whisk that in there. Now it's even better. Now you can just ladle this natural juice with the rosemary and the dried basil and the dried oregano and the white wine and the garlic. It's all very unnatural to me. Oh, I like that. So there's a simp and now I won't say a simp a, a simple and quick version, but Roast leg of lamb is a little bit of work, but this is certainly worth working for once in a while. I hope you get a chance to enjoy any version of this style. Thank you.